chat GPT is not always truthful if that's a, or factual. And if that's a value of mine, factualness is very important to me. And I know that sometimes chat GPT can say things that aren't true. Yeah. Making sure everybody knows that. that yeah. We have to make sure that we check what chat GPT says. Yeah, exactly. One of the teachers that I'm working with, he, he said something really interesting about why are we even bothering or why are AI developers, scientists, researchers trying to align AI with human values when humans are inherently flawed <laughs> and our values are not universal? Mm -hmm. Is Doesn't it seem like an exercise in futility mm -hmm. to try to do that? It's true, but I, I, didn't think, have an I think AI out of the box is so unaligned that like moving it slightly closer to whatever the mean like human value set is, the average value set is, is probably the right thing to do. Um, but you're right that people disagree on lots of things. I mean, we see it all the time in, you know, political debates. There's people have different ideas about what we should do, what is right. And we can't expect AI to to be aligned with everybody at the same time. Yeah, and I think that's why for education, it's such a hot topic, right? Like education is deeply political. Yeah. Um, and so it's, <laughs> so it's, <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's it's something that needs to have some some discussion around, I think. I, I think this topic is really fascinating because um, it's really shaped by how uh, a person approaches what they think the AI is. Mm -hmm. So if, if you think of it as like a tool or a, f a fancy way to make a query system with whatever's known on the internet or written on the internet, it, it's it's much more related to something like uh, Wikipedia, where I think people are pretty comfortable saying, yeah, some of the Wikipedia articles are bad, or they say like morally bankrupt things, and 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 you deal with it kind of after the fact or on the fly. But as, but as soon as we start thinking about our AI systems as having personhood or, or agency, it's different because then it's exactly like you said, inviting a guest speaker where you're not going to correct the guest speaker on the fly and and you'd be worried that there'd be too much to talk about after the guest speaker left if they gave a lecture on some terrible point of view that you know you just spend the next couple of weeks talking about well okay let's talk about why that was bad and then the students are wondering why you invited them and it's all very very confusing so i think it's fascinating it's it's what so to speak values we ascribe onto that system mm -hmm. whether it's a simple piece of technology or this entity this agent as you said, I, I think that's neat because it definitely changes how I think about it. When we talk about values alignment in the context of AI, I think we mean something different. And I kind of touched on it just now, but that we think about how to change AI to be more human or at least to, to not be evil, whatever that means. And, and I think we should be um, honest and say that that is a subfield of AI research. And yeah. a lot of AI researchers have a goal of building a a system that can achieve a goal or do something efficiently or or something like that. And they really aren't thinking very much about values and that other people typically come behind them and say, how do I understand this thing? How do I know that it has the right values, human alignment? And I, I think that's probably something that is going to continue to change. Yeah, I was just thinking, like, do you think that's the right way to do it? Do you think like this silo of I'm making AI and here's some other people over here who are making AI ethical, like, is that... It, it seems really dangerous as an afterthought. Mm -hmm. So like I, I heard an interview with a fairly famous um, AI scientist. I won't say who it was, but you know they're, they're very much now worried about AI and, and its impact on the world. And the interviewer asks a very pertinent question, which is like, well, you've been working on this for a long time. Why are you only worried about this now? And the answer was, well, it was kind of science fiction before. I didn't think it actually was possible. Um, I'm not comfortable with that answer. Because it's, 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 it's strange to say I was going to kick the can down the road because I didn't really think we'd get anywhere. But now we are somewhere and now we're doing it after the fact and we're playing catch up. It, it, it seems yeah. strange. Yeah. And I, but I think also more people, even if they are just interested in you know, making something more efficient, at least now they're also aware of some of those issues. And I think it's really relevant for this conversation when we talk about um, partnerships and, and learning together and things like that, that it's really when AI and humans come together that these things are really important. So whether it's using human data or querying or interacting with people, because, you know, on a previous version of this podcast, Mike Bowling came and talked about agents that play Atari. Playing Breakout and playing Breakout really, really well, it's hard to see where we're worried about value alignment there. But mm -hmm. when we have 
you know, intelligent tutors that are learning with children, that that really matters mm -hmm. and should be designed from the ground up thinking about these things. And yeah. I think I think that's where it's it's really difficult right now because you have smaller startup companies that are building these models and they're running with the, the typical, you know, move fast and break things model, which is very dangerous. And then you have the much larger tech companies that are being more cautious because they're worried about stock price. Right. And so this one is actually driving the behavior of, of everyone yeah. and the tech companies are moving slower, but it's still this weird situation that I think we need to have a broader conversation about.